Uganda will soon begin to, uh, to treat rather thoracic cases with the help of technology and this will be able to bring a revolutionary minimally invasive technique with better outcomes than the traditional open thoracic surgery. We have the report with Gabi Mufunyi. Medical experts explain that the traditional methods used to treat lung-related cases usually cause the patient to experience excruciating pain, excess bleeding during the surgery, which all leads to the patient staying in hospital for a longer period. When performing surgery in the chest, especially lung-related cases, we would open up the chest to approximately 12 centimeters wide. This method delays the healing process that now leads the patient to being admitted in hospital for a long period of time. This period could be between 10 to 15 minutes. This new medical technology was developed by a Spanish medical expert, Dr. Diego Gonzalez, who has delivered it to more than 150 countries around the globe. He is currently in Rwanda, training doctors in how to use this new technology. Dr. Gonzalez says this treatment will help in the development of health sectors across Africa and particularly in Rwanda. So the difference is that with this technique we use a small incision like a 3 centimeter incision and we, um, we can do the same with uh, thoracoscopic uh, instruments and with an uh, endoscopic camera. So we just put a small incision, we put all the instruments, the camera inside and then we watch a screen and we do the operation watching a screen. We don't need to uh, put our hands inside the chest and um, this is why the patient has less pain, better recovery and can go home in two days. The King Faisal Hospital says the technology will help accelerate the government's plan to have a model health sector in the region. As we are planning to be a center of excellence in health service in the region and as we are trying to be uh, a medical tourism hub, we would like to have all kinds of services from A to Z in the country. That's how uh, we are working with this group from uh, Spain uh, to help us introduce this new technique and build our capacity. Our surgeons and our operating theater team know how to develop, how to do this surgery and to give service to the people of Rwanda and to the region as well. Currently in Rwanda, there's only one specialist in lung surgery. The King Faisal Hospital says that training more people on the use of this technology will help reduce the number of deaths from these diseases. While on the other hand, the current COVID-19 pandemic is one of the major contributions to the increased number of 